Greetings YouTube. Today we're looking at the uh, Kershaw Ferrite, uh, the 1557TIX. Now, as the name uh, implies, this is an all-metal knife. So the first thing you're going to notice about this, this is a frame lock. It is a tip-up carry. It is not deep pocket, and it is ambidextrous uh, positioning. So you can take this little plug out reverse it and put that little plug in the other side. Has an ample and uh, uh, lanyard hole and I kind of like the fact that it's uh, an oval that kind of mirrors this shape. That's a nice touch. Um, I also like the fact that it's a pillar construction and they have pillars on either side of the lanyard hole because I think it gives it a really firm design feature. It really makes it look like it's it got some heft to it. Um, and it does. It's not a light life. It's it's. This is all steel, folks. This is all steel. Um, it, this is a flipper. It has thumb studs, but no one's going to be using a thumb studs because this is an assisted opening knife. But the thumb studs themselves are not obnoxious. They sit low. They're just slightly proud of the scales, but not enough to be a, a bother. Um, they do not have a cone or a dome shape. Um, they're flat, and they're, they're a smidge too crisp, but I'm never going to use them. So that's that's really not much of an issue. The flipper is a really nice, just creates a really nice finger guard. Very comfortable and uh, makes you feel safe and secure. The blade is a uh, uh, very slight hollow grind. It's not too bad. It's not as bad as some of the knives I've seen out there. Um, I like the profile. In fact, my wife looks so much at my wife's eyes. She goes, oh, I like that profile. Um, and she's correct. It is very attractive. It's one of the reasons I picked up this knife. It just has a certain aggressive look to it. Um, and if you like a scalpel cut, it just it feels comfortable. It just It just does. I mean, they could have made this a straight, and it still would have been a, a, an attractive knife, but it would have had a more of a visual bulk to it. This thins it out, makes it look a little more uh, graceful, and it kind of makes me think of a shark. I'm not sure why, but it makes me think of a shark. Uh, the tip is quite pointy. If you like a pointy tip, this is a good knife. There is a slight swedge here. Uh, the grind on this is quite good, and it's quite even. Um, I think I paid in like the 32 or $34 range for this. I'm not 100% sure. It was on Amazon, so you can just check there. Uh, because this is an all steel construction, you know, there, there is no need for liners. The scales themselves are all the structural integrity you need. It has a, an over uh, reach disc here, so you cannot push the liner, the, the, the frame lock out too far, which is nice, because um, that is possible when you're doing with, dealing with a, a frame lock to push this out too far and eventually um, loosen up the locking mechanism. But by having this disc here, that is not going to be an issue because you're going to per uh, push it to a specific uh, amount. A flat on this side, but an adjustable uh, Torx here. Uh, but the the speed was perfect out of the box. Get that away. Perfect out of the box. I don't think it, I, I didn't need to make any adjustment. I doubt you're going to either. Um, it has a nice feel to it. You got a nice four full full four finger um, uh, grip on this one. I carried this for a week at work, and even though this is really smooth and it is really smooth, I was able to use it. Um, I think a little bit of texture would have been an improvement, but I think I understand why they didn't do it. It saves on uh, manufacturing costs and such, but that's going to be a downside to some people. Some people are going to want more texture on it than this knife presents. Some people are not going to like the fact that it's just a very plain flat slab design. Uh, some people will not mind. I do not mind. Uh, I got to tell you, this is not going to replace the uh, Kershaw Injection 3.5 that I love so much, or even the Strobe. Um, but this is a solid knife. I'm really glad I have it in my collection. It was a good price point. If you like all metal designs, uh, this is uh, is a knife that you're going to want to look at. The these are a little, these are the pillars are a little on the plain side, but I like the pass through design, uh, full open designs. It makes cleaning very easy, particularly if you have access to an air gun like I do at work. Just blow that out and you don't have to worry about dust inside your knife. Um, 
I use an air gun all the time to keep my knife and my multi-tool clean. Um, I recommend using that if you have the opportunity. It, it's just so much faster and easier than using them. Swabs or something. It's very time consuming. Um, but there you go. This is the Kershaw Ferrite. I really like this blade. It's a good price point. Um, and if you are a big all-metal fan, this is a knife you're going to want to look at.